Crota's and third weekly challenge is now available, granting extra pinnacle drops from any difficulty and a random adept raid weapon when completed on Master. Third challenge is equal vessels. In the third encounter, you must pass the Chalice of Light to all guardians in the same order throughout the entire encounter, but you can use the pedestal to preserve the chalice. Simply put, assign all guardians a passing order. Players 1 through 5 are prepared to destroy the wizards to trigger the damage phase, and player 6 is the one making the callouts and is ideally on Well of Radiance. Take the Chalice in order once the player is enlightened. Once you have enough enlightened players to kill the Shield Singer Wizards, quickly cycle the Chalice through the remaining players and then have player 6 deposit the Chalice before the damage phase. Once the damage phase is over, player 1 reclaims the Chalice and now rinse and repeat. If your team is more coordinated, you can opt to pass in the Chalice during the damage phase to get enlightened to expunge on your Utes or prepare for the next round. However, I'd advise against it. So much can go wrong and it overcomplicates things. Let's further clarify Chalice passing. If you die while you're holding the Chalice, you cannot pick it back up since you've already held it in this rotation, so resist the urge. Additionally, the passing order doesn't get reset once you have cycled through everyone. On screen is my team passing the Chalice in the same order, starting with Saint and ending with me then Wolf. When it cycles back to Saint and I then take it from him, it fails the challenge. But Technically, the passing order can have a soft reset, but only in a specific way. If player 6, last in the cycle, preserves the chalice, any player could then pick up the chalice and you won't fail. However, player 6 must still be last in the passing order, otherwise it fails the challenge. This can add some flexibility, but IMO it doesn't change things. Have an order, stick to it. If someone dies while they are enlightened or holding the chalice, then you have to decide. Can you recover by making the next person enlightened, or should you reset? Let's talk loadouts and boss damage. Ammo can be an issue, so equip finders and scouts, as well as bring an Aeon or Cenotaph user. Those champs and knights are mini-bosses, so they're heavy ammo pinatas waiting to be popped. For those using Aeons, equip proximity ward on your class item for a tanky overshield. While passing the chalice, ideally all group up not in the crystal room on top of all those adds. Shift to the left or right rooms and cycle rifts and barricades. As for supers, have at least one Well of Radiance for its damage buff and survivability during DPS. Ideally, have a backup well for if the first gets destroyed or doesn't last the entirety of the damage phase. If your well is being destroyed during damage, then either place it on the left or right side of the outer area, or you could all jump up to the upper balcony. For other supers, tethers are great for additional debuff and controlling the enemies during damage. Any DPS supers you like, and then strain Banner of War for keeping everyone alive. And to maximize the damage phase, try to coordinate killing the wizards, easily done by getting them to finish a range and syncing up the kills. As for what to use for damage, it's quite flexible. If you have a divinity, the Linear Fusions and Leviathan's Breath will be great, but you don't need divinity. My team did a free to play run with just Thunderlord, and as you see, it's not doing too bad, as well as with Sleeper Simulant. Other popular options are rockets, acreous, or fusions, but on higher difficulties and depending on your skill, they're more trouble than they're worth. So, decide as a team and use what works best for you. Those attempting on master difficulty, all those blistered knights will have arc shields, and the ones that spawn in the crystal chamber will now be barrier champions. Seasonal anti-barrier options are auto rifles, always good options are arbalist or wish ender, and then CC abilities like suspend are always helpful. Additionally, look to active surges to boost that element's weapon and ability damage by 25%. That's always strain this season, with it also rotating between solar, void, and arc. With that, good luck completing the challenge for that extra loot. Feel free to stick around for my team's free-to-play clear if you want to see the power of Sleeper with no div and super exotics. As always, I am your Commander Pika. Be kind, have fun, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Why not? I missed my jump. No. Now we may kill them. Oh, the fuck is she? Oh, there she is.
Hold on, not today. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Better. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Get wolf. I cannot. I am. Um, hmm. You're uh, good. Mid Mid the top left. Hey, okay, take it, Vesper. Bottom right. Mid top left, bottom right, close right. You said close right. That was the final. Uh huh. All right. Yep. So mid left top, left tower top, right tower bottom, close right. Take it, cat. Yep. Make sure I think the reload on. Oh, all right. Why are you using an uh, exotic primary whisper? I'm not. Oh, that's the uh, other version. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Take it. Uh, I mean, it's... Great. Great. Yep. It's okay. <laughs> all right. Hello. I'm trying, I'm trying. Kill when you can. Well, uh, Jerry we has to. Yeah. yeah, go. Yeah, kill now. Missing all my shots. Make sure you're not in the bubble. Mm -hmm. So annoying to constantly be low. Yep. Another well of I'm out of ammo. No. Right. Not terrible. Nice. We'll take it. Got it. Come on, you stupid John. Gosh, it's crazy. Healer. Yep. Shooter. Yay. Oh Did we do it? Oh my god. We, we did, did it with no OP supers and using sleeper. <laughs> Which isn't even I mean, the active surge. Than, so. uh, the first. Oh, we did it quicker then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, who needs divinity? Oh, it Which only proves that, yeah, yeah you, you don't really need anything. Yeah. No, no. It's just uh, easy 